truly inspiring and uh, humbling to watch the parents and the volunteers and Billy Wayne and his crew for just their heart and their uh, desire to serve these kids. You know, I'll be honest, I didn't really know a lot about what I was getting myself into when uh, Kelvin asked me to be here this weekend, but I did know that there was going to be some kids who were experiencing a hunt for the first time, some of them. Uh, a lot of them have never hunted, uh, many of them never killed a deer, and most of them facing some adversity and trials in their life that uh, are far greater than anything I've experienced. And uh, so really, uh, for me just to be able to be here and give a little bit of my time is the smallest sacrifice. If you take the rifle and put it in your, in your arm right here and look at the scope and you put your cheek, see how my cheek is touching the gun? Mm -hmm. Okay, and then I just find my spot, I take the safety off, and I slowly pull the trigger back. All right now. I blow it, what I do is, and then I blow it halfway, and then I pull the trigger. That's how I learned. My dad was diagnosed, and when he, he was diagnosed, it was really hard for me. Then my sister was diagnosed too. I was not there when my dad died. I was at the beach with my friends, so I didn't really get to say goodbye to him. All right. You're ready. Three, Take your time. All right. You got a bullet? Yes, yeah, already loaded. All you need to do is tuck it back. Off till you're ready. All right. Is this? They need to come closer to you. Mm -hmm. Which one are we shooting? And when you're looking for number nine, number nine is going to be on the bottom, the side of the brown paper. You see it? Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, it's a panish, and I've been cancer free for nine and a half years. Go for it, son. Empty it. Come on. Come on. Ready. Make it rain. Come on, come on. Pull it. Pull it. Pull it. Pull it. What's your name, man? Matthew Robinson. How old are you? Twelve. How long have you been here? Uh, two days. Two days a second. Is this your first year? Yeah. All right, what's your name, buddy? Nathaniel Robertson. How old are you? Eleven. You ever deer hunted before? Yes, sir. Ever killed a deer before? Yes, sir. What was it? Uh, a buck. Hi, I'm Hope Treadway. I'm here at Ridgeville, South Carolina at Low Country Field of Dreams in the annual deer hunt that um, my son goes on every year. Uh, in 2011, Jeremiah was um, diagnosed with uh, non-Hodgkin's anioplastic large cell lymphoma, and God brought me through it. Um, the journey that we went on was hard, but you live your journey and you walk it every day. My boys got out here with Billy Wayne and Low Country Field of Dreams, and they have um, never experienced anything like that, and never would have if it wasn't for the cancer because they support cancer children and bring their them and their siblings out and they come out and they just do a four day hunt and just have a blast. Um, but God put everything on this earth and that's what gets all of us through. We need to thank him more than we need to thank anybody else. I'm Jeremiah Treadway. I was diagnosed with um, non-Hodgkin's anaplastic large cell lymphoma. I am two years in remission for it. And this place is my favorite place to come to. I wait for it every single year. The friends I get to meet, and new friends I get to make, and the fun I have, like deer hunting. When I was born, they figured out I had a liver disease called biliary atresia. And soon I'll have to have a liver transplant one day. So, <clears throat> and this camp, this, it, this camp um, means a lot to me to come here every year. Uh, my name is Angela Panish, and this is my family, my husband Cliff, my son Camden, daughters Caitlin and Alyssa. Um, this is our sixth year, I think, I think yeah. so. here at the Low Country Field of Dreams. Um, we're here because Alyssa is a cancer survivor. She was diagnosed with stage 4 neuroblastoma when she was 9 months old, um, went through 6 months of chemo, and then um, went through some more testing and found out that she beat cancer, so she's been cancer free for nine and a half years. So um, we actually got invited through Camp Happy Days. Caitlin was the one old enough to start hunting and we came out here and it was we just had the best time. And then the next year I 
bugged Billy Wayne to let me volunteer and help, and then I kind of just became part of the family. So we love coming out here. The kids look forward to it every year. It's um, it's like a it's like an extended family to us, and we always have we always have a good time, and the kids love it. I was actually born with cerebral palsy, which is a um a, a sort of par paral um a sort of paralyzing must muscular um birth def birth defect, but I got a mild case, and so I'm just glad to be down here be down here and be meeting people and making friends. Low Country Field of Dreams means to me just an opportunity for anyone that's had a bad experience just to go out and really get to bond with other people that have had the same experience and get to kind of forget about it for a while. Stephanie and Alyssa. Right. <laughs> yes, Stephanie and Alyssa. Last night, going in. Mm -hmm. You're gonna kill. You're gonna kill a big buck. Alright, let's go. Praise the Lord. Kelly will share with me that his, they replaced a bone in his leg and with another live bone and now it's growing and uh, it's not held him back in any way, shape, or form. He's open one day. He's a, a junior in high school, but he wants to go on and, and possibly join the armed services or work with NCIS or maybe Homeland Security. I think that's what it was. So, uh, man, God's done work in his life. And we're excited about being here this weekend. We just wanted to kill a deer. So uh, stay tuned and, and uh, maybe we'll have some exciting action on giving it all outdoors. Hey, buddy, come here. <laughs> Look at that, buddy. Holy cow, man. Are you stoked? <laughs> buddy, I think you might be in the running for the biggest yeah. buck. You might have won 100 bucks, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> That's a big deer.
You ready, buddy? Yes. What are you gonna do? Shoot a buck. You're gonna Hopefully. shoot a buck. My name's Andy. We're here with the Low Country Field of Dreams, taking Jordan here on his first deer hunt on our first Friday afternoon. Hopefully, we can get him on a nice buck. Though, whatever, we're lucky enough to get out with us, so hopefully, we'll get to see some action from him. What'd you just do, brother? I killed a deer. You had a baby. Give me a follow up. Had a boy. Yes. Great job, man. Yes. Next Great time job. Bring earplugs. Great job, buddy. Hey. One shot, one kill. It's Didn't have to track him too far. Nope. I if there's a... you, you still feel excited now as you did when you shot him? Yes. I wonder if there's a blood show or something. Uh, it's alright, we found him. Yep. What do you think? Your first hunt ever and you done killed a buck. There's a little antlers poking out of it. Yep, yep. yep. There's a little buck. He ain't even a doe. <laughs> Sixteen months ago, I was diagnosed with stage four pancreatic cancer. They gave me a, a year to live. Here we are, at 16 months. God is good. These next few months, we don't know. These next year, we don't know. But you know what? None of us know. Tomorrow, we could be struck by lightning. Tomorrow, we could get in a car wreck, whatever. But each and every one of us need to know that we are born of God and we're going to finish with God. We know that God gives his toughest battles to his toughest soldiers, right? But we can't do it alone. I've had a, a master plan in my life, and I, I call it my trifecta, my triple threat. God as my foundation, just like when we build a house or you guys build a fort, right? We don't want anything wobbly. We want that rock solid, just like that concrete. If you have God as your foundation, then who comes next? Your family. Then after that, your friends, and your friends become family, and your family's part of God, and it's synergy. It's like a figure eight, and it's forever going, right? Okay? It's like a symphony. So with that trifecta, I feel like, you know what? I may die of this cancer, or I may die of something else. But I know where I'm going in the end, so it's a win-win for me, because I can't wait to get there and be in the ultimate party, in the ultimate deer stand, right? That's, where, that's what it's going to be, 12 point bucks every day, boys and girls, right? So thank you guys for your time. Thank you for inspiring me, and I hope to, uh, to con continue to inspire y'all. Thank you.
Love you, bro. Love you.